What happens when the day goes off the rails? We've all had those days. I think they almost all go off the rails, like in a company at our, at our pace. We wake up and we have a great morning, great connect with your kids. And then at, at eight o'clock, the world's going to end. And at 10.30, you're on top of the world. And then by noon, you know, the, we just have so many ups and downs. So mm -hmm. I think that's part of the reason why you need the mindset to stay out of the cord. The cortisol is the enemy. To stay out of that, that cortisol neurotransmitters, try to get back to calm, to get perspective, like, okay, we've seen this. This has happened before. But I think it, what, one of the things I tell the team is when you're going this fast and you're growing this fast, it's like a bus going down a dirt road at 600 miles an hour. You're going to hit some really big bumps and the bus might even flip mm -hmm. over, but we got to get out, put the bus back on the wheels and, and keep going down the dirt road 600 miles an hour. It's not the smoothest trip in the world. So we've just come to expect there's going to be a lot of really great things that happen and there's going to be a lot of obstacles and challenges. So let's embrace all of that. You can see the you can see the need for mindset when we're flipping the bus a few times a day. You have to maintain a positive outlook on how these things are going. And we even do a session every Friday. We do a session with our team where we only talk about what's going right. And if you if you got on the session, you would be like, oh, this is toxic positivity. But the reality is like we could talk about all the things that are going wrong. There'd be plenty of that to talk mm -hmm. about, but let's remind each other of how hard we're working and the kinds of outcomes that we're seeing and the good things that are happening in this company, because it would be very easy to focus on the negative. That's one of the things mindset coaching can do is it just turns your perspective towards, do we want to focus on the negative? There's plenty of that in all of our lives, in our personal lives too, right? Mm -hmm. There's plenty of ways that we could focus on all the things that are going wrong and we'll get more of that. And then there's plenty of ways that we can focus on all the things that are going right. And then we'll get more of that. It's one of the things that I try to teach the team. Mm -hmm. Whatever you are feeling, you're going to get more of. So go ahead and wake up frustrated. Be frustrated. You're going to get more of that if that's what you want. Be grateful. Wake up grateful. You're going to get more gratitude. I don't know why it works this way, but I can tell you that it does. Whatever you're feeling, you're going to get more of that. Hence the need for visualization. Hence the need for breathing. Hence the need for recovery. Whatever you're feeling, and we're, we're working on a feeling here with Mindset Coaching, you're going to get more of that. That's been really powerful.